Hey, what is up everybody? Zero Fats here coming at you on behalf of AdventuresOnTheRiver.com. Welcome to my year in Merry Christmas video. Uh, I want to give you guys something valuable in this video. Um, and before I do that, I want to kind of explain about last year uh, around this time. Uh, last year around this time, you know, it was Christmas time, and I wanted to give everybody just something really specific um, and really not just like theory and not just like idealism, but like just a really specific like thing uh, that they could take and they could go out and make money. And what I did last year was I said, well, you know, look, I've been making money off of these uh, these recipe books I've been doing, you know. So I. Uh, I, I told everybody on YouTube, hey, you can make money off these recipe books. Um, and it was crazy, man, because I was just trying to help people. I was just trying to give people a free tip, kind of like a, hey, Merry Christmas from me to you. Use it. Go out there and make some money. Um, like, that video got so many, like, questions, and then it got so many negative responses as well. Um, I ended up doing a, uh, like, a, a complete walkthrough on how to do it. Because I felt like there's a lot of people who didn't believe me or whatever. So I did like this walkthrough on how to do it. Which, you know, I it totally went against my whole my whole theory and, and, and what I truly believe that there is no proof on the internet. There's only trust. But I, I totally I, I gave in, I gave in, I went against my beliefs, and I gave in and I did this whole walkthrough just to kind of prove to people, hey look, this is possible, you can do it. Here's the website on library. Con Here's the article on li on the uh, on the you know copyright.gov that says you know lists of ingredients are not copyrightable. You can do this. Uh, incidentally, it's not just lists of ingredients. Uh, it's not just recipes. It's there's tons of other things, including like exercises, like push-ups, chin-ups, sit-ups. Okay, there's lots of things uh, that's not copyrightable. But anyway, so I did this, it kind of ended up being like, uh, like I forget how many videos I did about this, um, but I know I did the one with, with me standing in front of the Christmas tree like this, um, talking about how you could do this with recipe books, you can make, you can make good money doing it. Um, and then I talked about, I did like a walkthrough, and uh, dude, I mean, lots and lots of people, I mean tons, I mean just tons of people asked me questions about that recipe ebook method. Okay, and then like tons more give me hate mail for it, telling me that like I'm I'm like stealing people's recipes and uh you know that's copyrighted material and what I'm doing is illegal and this that and the other, which is absolutely and completely absurd. It's nonsense, um, and it, but it's almost it almost got to the point where I I felt like I wish I wouldn't even gave that out. I wish I just would have kept it to myself and just kept on you know making bank off of it and stopped uh, giving that to other people. Um, you know, it just cut all the comments kind of became a hassle to deal with, you know, and people were asking questions that I'd already answered for other people, which kind of was annoying, you know, but that's not like my ethos to like tell them they're being annoying, you know, the way I like to do business and my ethos kind of dictates that like, I want to help people. So if people ask me a question that uh, like a hundred other people have already asked me, I'll just go ahead and answer it for them. So and that's what I did and that's what I do. Um, you know, it's, I, I gotta tell you, like, it was kind of a pain in the butt though. The recipe book thing just kind of became a pain in the butt. Um, I'm not gonna do, you know, I, I'm not gonna do like, um, I'm not gonna do a bunch more, you know, videos about the whole recipe book thing. That's over. That was last year at Christmas this time. Uh, now it's this year at Christmas this time. Um, and, and what I've done is I have, uh, well, let's get into what I want to talk about today, okay? Um, I, I wanted to kind of modify the whole recipe book thing and the whole ebook thing. Um, you know, I made good money off of recipe books and I made good money modifying that program and using it on like other things like sports statistics, using it on like things like exercise programs. Like I did, I did a, uh, you know, I think I did a book uh, not too long ago, like, uh, you know, 20 exercises uh, to destroy your flabby arms or whatever. Something to get rid of your flabby arms, you know, 20 exercises to get rid of your flabby arms. Very, very simple. I just went to, you know, I just went and found a bunch of exercises on the internet and that would help with your, uh, tone your arms up and put it all together into an ebook. It was very easy, okay? Um, 
I digress. Okay, so let me get into what I wanted to talk about this year, and this is the big special kind of like gift I wanted to give you guys uh, this year for Christmas. Um, so I uh, I want to be conceptual here with you uh, for a minute, and I'm just going to be conceptual about it. On, on January 13th, uh, I'm going to release a, a little uh, a little ebook course. It's going to be a course that's going to teach you how to um, sell ebooks on Amazon. It's going to teach you how to sell an average of about mm, about 15 to 20, 30 copies of your ebook a month. Like if you released an ebook. Um, basically one every day to one every other day around there this is a method that I've proven okay it's a, it's a proven method I've done it it works you will sell this many books with this method that's that's my belief okay um, so that that's that's the method I'm gonna release I wish I could tell you what what it's called but uh, I don't want to because I did that with affiliate command then I ended up having to like change my domain name for affiliate command to like the affiliate command because someone had already registered affiliate command. I'm not sure if they did that, you know, because of me or whatever, but you know, it I don't know. It it wasn't didn't seem like it was registered before, then all of a sudden boom it was registered. So I'm not gonna say what my course is gonna be called, um, but I'm gonna launch it on January thirteenth. It's only gonna be available for five days. It's gonna be super low ticket. It's gonna be like a five dollar item. Um, and it's going to be full of videos. It's not going to be just a $5 ebook. It's going to be full of videos. But right now, in this video, this YouTube video, I want to guide you conceptually through what that course is going to be about. Um, and here, here's, here's the way it goes. I just, the course is going to be a walkthrough of what I did because I actually captured a lot of it on video while I was doing it. Um, but let me just walk you through here, sitting in front of my Christmas tree, um, and, and we'll just talk about it. You know, like camp campfire chat or whatever. Um, basically, uh, I started with uh, my leverage points. Like, what are my leverage points? Because whenever you're going to sell something on the internet, you guys, you always think about, like, what are your leverage points? Well, I wanted to, um, I wanted to uh, kind of sell a, a, an ebook on Amazon, right? And I wanted to make it like a simple ebook that I didn't put a lot of time and effort into. But it could like generate me like a nice passive income, and not just like trickle in sales, okay? Because the whole ebook, the whole recipe ebook method that I was teaching you guys about before, that's based on trickle in sales. You know, you can plan on selling one, two, three, four, five copies of an ebook a month with that method, and then you make up for it with volume. You put a lot of them out very quickly. It only takes you an hour, hour and a half to make one of those recipe books. And then you just put a lot of them out there, and you you know the volume kind of adds up. You're selling one to five copies of an ebook a month, and you got like a thousand of them up there, and like boom, now you're making pretty good money. That's how that method worked. That's not how this method works. This method is designed to take one ebook and actually make it kind of successful on Amazon. Okay, so that was my goal with this with this whole thing. And I know I'm kind of being rambly. Sorry. Um. So I wanted to look at my leverage points. Um, my leverage points, I knew I wanted to do like a recipe book because I gotten so much grief from people on recipe books how, you know, oh, I wouldn't buy a recipe book without pictures and oh, I, uh, uh, you can't do that. That's illegal to take some people's recipes and blah, blah, blah. I can't make any money off these recipe books. Nobody buys them, blah, blah, blah. You know, so many people just, you know, I had to answer so many questions about it and it was just such a pain in the butt. Um, that uh, I kind of was just like, well, screw you guys, you know. I, I didn't even have to let anybody know about this recipe book, you know, method. It wasn't even something I needed to even, you know, give out. It was just like a Christmas thing. Hey, Merry Christmas. Hey, you can use this method and go make some money. Um, but uh, so I, I kind of had something to prove, I felt like. Um, but anyways, uh, so I started with my leverage points. And... For this recipe book thing, my leverage points were I had this YouTube channel called Nutribullet Time, right? Where I did blender stuff, I did smoothies and stuff like that. Um, and I had a website attached to the um, I had a website attached to the uh, you know the YouTube channel. It's called BlendingForYourHealth.com. So I had the website. It was kind of a member. It was a membership site, and I had the YouTube channel. Okay, so the membership site was you know it's it's young. It's it's 
doing pretty good for where it's at in life. Uh, the YouTube channel, it's, it's a little over a year old. It's doing pretty good. It's got almost 5,000 subscribers. Um, you know, so that, that, those are my two leverage points. I had an email list, I think, of around, you know, two or three hundred people. So very, very tiny email list. Um, those are my, my leverage points. I had the, uh, the membership site, I had the YouTube channel, and I had the email list. Um, so I realized that, oh, also I had a Facebook, I had a Facebook page for Nutribullet Time. So I had a few little things going on there. Um, and I realized you guys might not have those things. I realized that. But here's my first lesson. Lesson number one, okay, step number one. Not even, I don't even call it a lesson, you know, because, you know, I'm not your teacher, you know, I'm, we're just talking here. Um, but, you know, step number one, okay, what I did, um, first of all, I, I, if I, if I didn't have leverage, and I had some leverage, but you might not, if you want to write a successful ebook, I don't care if it's just a stupid little recipe guide, because what I was doing, it wasn't the great American novel, it was just a stupid little recipe guide, okay, and, uh, the first step is to gather people around you, okay? Now, you can do this with like a Facebook group, you can do it with a YouTube channel, you can do it with a little blog, you can do it however you want to do it. Um, you need to gather kind of some people around you. You need to um, become prominent in a community or kind of form your own community with a bunch of people around you. And I know like you might think that's easier said than done, I get that. But uh, that's what you need to do. You need to start, you know, kind of gathering people around you. People need to know kind of who you are in this place. Now, that can be as simple as going to Facebook and uh, joining about 15 or 20 different groups that are in the niche that you want to make an ebook about. Okay, let's say you want to make an ebook about, you know, auto repair. You know, you're going to go to Facebook and you're going to join about 15 or 20 ebook groups about auto repair. People who are active in those groups and they talk about auto repair, right? You're going to join those groups. Okay? And if you don't want to do a YouTube channel, which I suggest you do a YouTube channel because that's a really good way to start gathering people around you. Um, but uh, basically, you know, you'll, you'll start your own little Facebook group, you know, and you'll uh, and you'll start trying to build that up a little bit. You'll go to all those other Facebook groups and you'll let them know, hey, I got my Facebook group. If you want to join, man, we talk about this there, you know, blah, blah, blah. And you can do that, right? But the whole idea is you're, you're gathering people around you, whether it's you're prominent in other groups or you kind of have your own group or you have a YouTube channel or you have a blog, you're gathering people around you and what that includes is kind of an active community that you're a central figure in and also it, it really really is important to start working on building like a list for that community okay so like if you got like a, a Facebook group um, you'll want to kind of like have some way to build a list right have some way to start building an email list leverage those people who are gathered around you onto an email list, right? I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what does this got to do with uh, selling an ebook on Amazon that sells 30 copies a month or whatever? What what does this all got to do with that? I understand. We'll get to that. Now look, dude, it's a year later. I have a year less hair on my head. Um, you know, so bear with me. Be patient, okay? <laughs> you know, this internet stuff, man, is, is it really isn't a straight path all the time. You know, it's usually there's a roundabout way to get to places, and that's kind of, I think, the reason why so many people fail, why some people succeed, okay? Um, roundabout path. So you, you say, hey, I want to sell an ebook on Amazon that makes this much money. And then you think, like, all I got to do is put it up there, and then I got to advertise it, advertise it, advertise it, right? But you're advertising it, and your path is too straight. You know, it's too straight of a path. I mean, you put the ebook up there, and then you're advertising all over the place, and nobody knows who you are, so you get very little results. Nobody cares, okay? So here's what I say, um, part one, you know, start gathering a following around you, okay? Whether that be a YouTube channel, whether it be a Facebook group, um, whether it be a blog, uh, you start gathering people around you, you know, 
you don't want to attempt this uh, ebook launch without at least a few hundred people around you. Okay, you want to gather people around you. Um, anyway, this is what's worked. Okay, this is what's worked for me. Um, you don't need a YouTube channel with four or five thousand subscribers, um, but you do need um, a YouTube channel with a few hundred subscribers where every day you have comments, right? Every day you have people actively, you know, commenting and asking you questions. Um, you do want, uh, you know, one or two hundred people on your email list that you have good communication with, right? You email them um, every day or, you know, at once a week or whatever, you know? Um, so that's, that's cool. So, so the idea, you know, step number one is you, um, you're building this kind of following around you. You're kind of building something around you. Okay, so cool. Now while you're kind of building this following, whatever route you choose, whether it be a Facebook group, um, whatever route you choose, and I, and I highly suggest, um, now the Facebook group and the YouTube channel and all that stuff, they feed off each other, okay? A lot of these things that, that happen on the internet, they kind of go together. Just like the affiliate marketing and the product creation, it all kind of goes together. It, it really does. It kind of, it, they all fuel each other. Imagine, now you have a YouTube channel, okay? Let's say you've joined about 15 or 20 groups on Facebook, all about like auto repair or whatever. And then, um, you know, you're kind of talking in those Facebook groups. Yeah, every day you pop in, you comment, you comment, and you uh, you respond to other people's comments and whatever. You post in there. You know, you kind of kind of get developing a little reputation for yourself. Now you start a YouTube channel, right? And it's about like auto repair, right? And then um, you know, you're putting a video out once or twice a week. You know, and uh, you know, you're gonna have some people trickling in, finding your uh, YouTube channel. You know, and can have some people trickling in, you know, from YouTube. That's cool, right? You can have some people trickling in from, from, you know, Google because, you know, Google places high, high value on YouTube videos and they, they rank at the top of search engines very, very quickly. Um, so you're going to have some people strolling from that. But if you're known in like 15 or 20, you know, Facebook groups, every time you post a, um, every time you post a YouTube video, what you're going to do is you're going to create a Facebook fan page for your YouTube channel. And then you're going to embed the video in that fan page. And then you're also going to um, share the video on all of those Facebook groups, right, that you're a part of. So what that's going to do is, um, you know, that's going to, like, drive traffic to your YouTube channel. And you're going to kind of use Facebook groups and your Facebook page to kind of like leverage traffic back to your YouTube channel. And what you're doing is you're kind of creating this kind of like tornado. You're kind of creating this, you're, you're gathering people around you. You're creating this force. And it doesn't just include the YouTube channel. It's going to include the YouTube channel. It's going to include the Facebook groups. It's going to include the Facebook fan page. And a few things working that, that you can kind of gather this force up with. You know, while you're at it, you might as well go ahead and go over to Pinterest and create a Pinterest account because it's very, very simple to, uh, you know, when you create a YouTube video, just to embed it on a Pinterest pin and boom, just start posting YouTube videos on Pinterest as well. So not only will you uh, share it on Facebook, you'll share it on Pinterest and you just kind of throw that into the mix too. And now you're kind of developing this force, you're kind of developing this force of people around you, right? It doesn't have to be very long. You don't have to do this for years and years and years for this to happen. Maybe a month or so. Maybe a month of doing this. Maybe maybe two months. Depending on how fast you put out content and how much content you put out and also depending on how relevant and valuable the content is. Ideally, what you want to be doing is you want to be putting out content that's highly related to what you know is going to be in your ebook, okay? Like, let's get back to my example, like the Nutribullet Time Recipe Guide. Well, what I did was I knew I'd already had over a hundred videos on my YouTube channel uh, where we did like smoothies and stuff. So what I did was I pulled out, you know, thirty or forty of those those videos, and uh, you know, we wrote down the uh, recipes, all the recipes. We turned that into an ebook, okay? Um. And then what we did was we uh, we offered it for free 
to all the people on YouTube, to all the people on the uh, BlendingForYourHealth.com membership site, uh, to all the people on our Facebook uh, fan page and various Facebook groups. I had like 12 or 13 Facebook groups that you know, were all about smoothies. Offered the uh, recipe guide to them all for free, right? Um, well, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I didn't do the Facebook thing yet. Okay, what I did was I offered the ebook for free to um, everybody in the membership site. Offered it to free for to everyone on my um, to everyone on my um, on my YouTube channel, all my subscribers. Hey, go over to BlendingForYourHealth.com and uh, opt in, and I got a free ebook for you, right? Now this is way before I ever put the ebook up on Amazon, right? I didn't even put up on Amazon yet. I took the original version of the ebook and I put it behind an opt-in form and I gave it to people from my YouTube channel for free, okay? So what this did was this leveraged more people from my YouTube channel to my email list, right? What I'm doing is I'm building this kind of force around me. Now the email list people are kind of like the cream of the crop. The people on your email list are your cream of the crop. So, what happened next? Okay, did that for a little bit. Did that for a little bit. I don't remember how long. A few weeks. Um, finally, I was ready to do my uh, Nutribullet time release. Um, and what I did was, I uh, before I uh, before I launched the ebook on Amazon. What I did was I updated the ebook a little bit because I had already been giving it away for free. So now I kind of wanted to update it a little bit. Um, and what I did was I kind of went in there and, uh, you know, I updated it a little bit. You know, I added some more things to it and I just kind of updated the intro and I put a little intro by each recipe and, you know, all this and all that. Now, the old ebook that I gave away to all my YouTube visitors. Um, each recipe had a link, the, like the title of the recipe linked back to the YouTube video that went with it, right? So they got that value. They could read the ebook and they could click on the title and it'd take them right to the YouTube video, which was cool. But that's not how I wanted to do it for Amazon, okay? What I did for Amazon was when I did the Amazon version of this ebook, I built this whole other section on blendingforyourhealth.com that nobody could really see. Nobody could really see. It was just a special section. The only way you could get to it was a link that was in the ebook, right? And that link took you to an opt-in form and it said basically, hey, you know, thanks for picking up a copy of Nutribullet Time Recipes, you know, 2014 um, as an extra special gift. We want to give you all this extra valuable content, including you know videos, uh, to video supplementals to all the recipes in the guide. And it was like 36 recipes in the ebook, right? So what happened was there was links all over this ebook. You know, in the front, in the back, and then I think like maybe in the middle, a couple of links saying, "Hey, don't forget to don't forget to click here and get your free gift." Uh, get your free gift uh, that goes along with this uh, ebook, e right? And this is the Amazon copy I'm talking about, right? So I updated it. I changed all those video links to a link that went to a secret opt-in form, right? Um, so what I'm doing is I'm creating value on the back end, right? It won't just be a recipe book when those Amazon people buy it, okay? What's going to happen is they're going to get the ebook and then what happens is in the ebook they see that they can get the special video supplementals and extra actually even more extra cool stuff so then they click on the link and it takes them to an opt-in form where I can capture their email address okay uh, and then they go to that secret area and what happens is in that secret area there's all these video supplementals for the Nutribullet Time recipe guide right um, and not only that, I put a bunch of extra stuff in there. I did this little video where I talked about how the recipe guide came together. I did a secret special smoothie recipe that wasn't even in the ebook, but it was special just in that secret members area. Now, do you think I advertised it in the ebook? Absolutely, I did. Hey, there's a secret special smoothie recipe that's not in this book. It's only in the secret area, so go check it out. It's absolutely free, just as a thank you for buying this guide right 
So, there was a ton of stuff in there. There was a ton of extra stuff. I put a ton of extra stuff in there. And on the 13th of January, when I release this course, like I said, it's only going to be five bucks. When I release it, you'll see what I'm talking about because I'll walk you guys through the secret area and show you what I mean. But uh, just for now, we're sitting here and we're just talking. So, like, the idea is I, um, I modified the ebook a little bit from when I was giving it away for free. And I kind of spruced it up a little bit for Amazon. And I created this whole like back end area where I could leverage traffic away from Amazon, get them to opt in, and give them all this awesome extra content, which made them really happy that they opted in. Now the other thing that's important here is in this area, in this secret area, all through the secret area, I kept on reminding them in the videos as well as, you know, in other places, I would say, hey man, if you're enjoying this free content, you know. Uh, make sure to get over and uh, leave, leave us a positive review on Amazon. Uh, it really, really helps the authors. We appreciate it so much if you could do that for us. You know, if you if you're enjoying this content, you know, I put that everywhere, and then I put links where they could just click on the link and take them right to the book on Amazon where they could leave a review. Okay, so what you're doing there is you're kind of hedging your bets a little bit. You're not only are you getting an email from a buyer, someone who's bought your ebook, okay? You're also creating this kind of like reciprocity factor. You just gave them some really cool stuff for free and you're asking them for something, right? You're asking them for feedback, right? You're asking them for that review. A lot of people feel obligated to give you the review because, um, you know, you just gave them all this cool stuff for nothing, right? And also it helps uh, to just let them know, hey, you don't have to write a three-page review. All you have to do is say, hey, awesome book, really appreciated it, thanks. And you just kind of tell them that's all they got to say. Not a big deal. Um, that helps. Okay, so I did that. I created the whole back end for the ebook. Okay, so now once I created the back end for the ebook, I was almost ready to launch this sucker. So what I did was um, I went ahead and I launched it. Um, I, went ahead, I don't have my like, like my notes in front of me, you guys, and uh, I don't have uh, <laughs> you know I'm not standing in front of the whiteboard, so you know we're just kind of st sitting here talking. So it, I, you know if I mess it up a little bit, it's just because it's kind of a big process, and from memory it's a little little hazy. But um, basically, I launched the ebook, and what I did was when I put the ebook up on Amazon, I uh, I did a little technique where I um, I listed it in two completely separate categories. And I'll get into why that's important um, in the guide when it comes out on January 13th. I'll get, I'll get into that, why that's important. But a special way that I listed the ebook that was going to help it reach the most people, the largest scope of people. Okay. Um, and uh, I picked those categories incidentally because of the numbers that the other books in those categories had. Now, yes, they were related to what my ebook was about, but. Um, the numbers had to be there on the other top selling books. Uh, the numbers had to be there. Alright, so I listed it in a certain way. Okay, now when I listed it, I enrolled it in KDP Select and I ran a five day free promotion on the ebook. Okay, and during that five days, I gave away about 800 copies of that ebook. Okay, now on January 13th, when this uh, course comes out, I will, uh, you'll see because I, I do videos where I show what's happening as the days go by, like day one, day two. Yeah, this is what's going on in day two. I kind of did video captures, kind of like show you what was going on as it was happening. Um, but uh, yeah, man, so that's what I did. And I, uh, and I basically, like starting on, on, on the night before, the night before my launch, uh, I let everyone on my YouTube channel know. I let everyone on my email list know. I let everyone um, in my membership site know. Uh, I let everyone on Facebook know. Uh, in my groups know. Uh, in my personal Facebook. Uh, hey, you know, I I'm launching this ebook tomorrow. Uh, man, it's going to be absolutely free for five days, you know. So if you get a chance, man, get over to Facebook. Get over to Facebook and, uh, or I'm sorry, get over to Amazon and, uh, man, snag a copy. And, and if you like it, man, please leave me a positive review. It's super helpful. Really help me out if you like it, right? 
always say if you like it because you don't want people just leaving you positive reviews if they haven't if they don't care about your book. You don't want an unhonesty. You don't want unethical stuff. All you really want is if someone liked your book uh, for them to give you you know some positive feedback saying they liked it. You know because the thing about you know this whole review thing is a lot of times when people like something they don't really think to give you a review. A lot of times people only want to give you a review when they're pissed off. So you gotta gotta motivate people to give you reviews. Okay, so cool. Anyways, so um, that's what I did the night before. I I basically notified this whole like tornado that I had been building up. I notified all of them. This is what was happening, right? Okay, so cool. Now for the next five days, I did a, a, a free a free promotion on this ebook. It was f absolutely free for the next five days. So for the next five days, what I did was I uh, I recorded a different smoothie video every every day for those five days. So I basically put out a YouTube video every single day, and in that video, I made sure I reminded everybody we were giving away a free recipe guide on you know on um, Amazon right now. And uh, man, we would love to have you know your your feedback on it. So man, if you uh, get a chance, get over there, snag a copy of it, and um, and uh, you know let us know what you think. Uh, we we you know positive reviews really help authors. We'd appreciate your uh, your positive review if you like the book. You know, and always kind of include if you like the book. But I soft sold it in the video, right? So I gave them valuable content in the video every day for five days, and then I soft sold the ebook. So I reminded them. I put a link in the description to the ebook that was on Amazon, right? And I and in the video I, I put an annotation there, hey check out our ebook, it's free right now, snag it, you know, whatever. So Basically, I, I was, uh, you know, I was putting this, I was sowing the seeds in my force of people that I had around me, uh, that I was, I was doing this launch, right? And for five days, this was going on, and for five days straight, I was watching my numbers, and I was, uh, you know, continually putting the word out there. I was using all of my leverage that I had, and like promoting it. Because right now the book was free. It's easier to give away a free product, especially if there is a uh, perceived value to it that it's not supposed to be free. It's supposed to be, um, I, I had this book listed at $4.99, right? But it was free for five days, okay? Um, which $4.99 really wasn't a bad price at all. I mean, honestly, that's not a bad price. Um, but, uh, I had no intention really of leaving it at $4.99. I just set it at $4.99 with the intention of eventually I know I'm probably going to drop this down to $2.99. That's my normal price for ebooks. But I set it at $4.99. Number one, so people saw a perceived value because a lot of times when people see something for free, they don't care about it. They're desensitized to it. Um, but if I say, hey, this is $4.99, but for the next five days it's absolutely free, so check it out. Now there's some value to it again. You added some value back to it. Um, but the other reason is I do absolutely feel like it was worth at least $4.99 because I put a lot of extra content in that secret area uh, that kind of went right with the ebook when you bought it. So, um, okay, so cool. So I did that for five days. I pushed like 800 units. Um, also, um, in the two categories my ebook was in, it went number one in both categories. Okay, in both of those categories, it went number one bestseller, bestseller ranking in category. Uh, in the free section, right? Because you know the free se there's two separate sections in Amazon. You have the pay section and the freed section. And in the free section, my book went number one in both its categories. Okay, so it was it was pretty good. I pushed like 800 units and went number one in both categories. When that five days was over, I ended with like 21 reviews on the books, which is which I'm really happy with. Uh, you know, I think 90% of them were verified verified purchase reviews. So if you don't know what that means, that means that Amazon could verify that the person reviewing the book actually got it from Amazon. Okay, they actually got the book from Amazon, which means many of the people that got my book for free, like before it ever came out on Amazon, they actually went back and just got it from Amazon too. So I don't know why. I mean, they got the book for free, then they went back and got it, got it also. So, um. What else happened? So I, I gave away like 800 uh, of those books for free. Ended up with like 21 reviews. Um, so 
here's the part where I want to tell you that um, Amazon will help promote your book, okay? But Amazon's kind of like the kid at school who only wants to hang around with the cool kids, right? If you look really weird or you look stupid or you do something that like is going to embarrass Amazon, Amazon's not going to want anything to do with you, okay? So what happens is if you look like the cool kid, Amazon's going to start promoting you, all right? That's what's going to happen. And the way Amazon decides if you're a cool kid or not is they basically um, they basically want to see how many units you're selling, okay? How many units are you selling? How many positive reviews do you have? Okay? Those are the two big ones that fuel it. Um, how many units are you selling and how many positive reviews do you have? Okay? That's those are the two big things. Um, for some reason, like <laughs> in my mind, I, I'm thinking there's a third one, but I can't, I'm drawing a blank. I can't think of what the third one is right now. Those two are really big though. Um, and that's really what I focused on. How many units could I push during that week? And how many reviews could I get? Uh, so that was, that was really, really uh, a big thing for me. Um, and what happens is the way I see it is once you get like 10, 11, 12 reviews, and you're pushing a pretty good amount of units, what happens is Amazon starts promoting your book. And, and you know it because now all of a sudden, like, you're in this cycle, right? Now all of a sudden, um, now all of a sudden, you know, when the promotion ends, the five-day promotion ends, and you go into the paid category, you keep on getting sales, right? You keep on kind of getting sales, and now you know Amazon's kind of promoting your book a little bit. And they're doing this because... Uh, my, my theory on it is they're doing it because they see you've got a lot of positive reviews. A lot of people obviously liked your book. Um, and uh, also, you know, you've pushed a lot of units. A lot of people bought your book. So, cool. And that's kind of why they're promoting it. Um, they won't do it forever, you know. They like, to do, they like to promote new stuff. So, you know, I don't know what the, what the uh, shelf life is on it. I, this is the first time I've ever really tried to have like a best-selling Amazon ebook. Uh, I've always been kind of content with just doing like trickle-in sales and like really, really niche-focused ebooks, you know, just throwing them up there and not really promoting them that much. Um, this is the first time I've ever really tried to really make a concerted effort to do a launch on an ebook and really promote it and try to get to the top. Uh, one thing I noticed is it's very competitive at the top. Like that, when you get to that number one, number two spot, and you're battling, all kinds of weird little things happen. Like I got one like negative review on my um, ebook where the guy said things that like weren't even true about my ebook. And then I figured out you could go over to Fiverr.com and you could have people leave reviews on your ebooks. And I started thinking, holy cow, man! I think that people could probably go to Fiverr.com and ask them just to leave a completely honest review wink wink it doesn't need to be a good review uh, on someone else's ebook you could actually do that you know so you could sabotage someone else's ebook if you wanted to basically that's the whole idea if you're competing you know if you got a number one and a number two which sucks man but I had no idea that was even going on really until I started trying to make a concerted effort to get to that number one spot so yeah keep that in mind it's, it's really competitive at the top um, so where does that bring us to? Five day promotion ends, the sale ends, um, and now the Nutribullet Time. Now this is a book you can go check right now. It's, it's on Amazon right now. Nutribullet Time, Recipe Guide, 2014. Um, right, right now, um, as I check this, I think it was ranked like um, 95,000. 95,000 um, 95,000 in all the ebooks on Kindle, okay, which puts it in the cream of the crop. That puts it in the, the top 5% of all ebooks on Kindle. Pretty cool. Um, and it's ranked in the top 100 in category for the two categories I put it in. It's in the top 100, which is good. And what that equals out to is about selling a book every other day. About every other day it sells, right? Now, and that kind of is an average. Sometimes it'll sell three or four copies in a day, and like someday it won't sell any. But, but generally, at least every other day it'll get a sale. So it equals out to about 15 or 20 books a month that this book is selling right now, um, which is pretty cool considering it's only a recipe guide. 
I didn't put a lot of work into it really. I put a lot more work into like just kind of like creating the back end and kind of like creating that marketing kind of funnel than I really did into the actual ebook itself. Um, here's the special thing about it. 15 to 20 books a month is what this thing averages. Um, without any other promotion being done for it. I just, I got the five, I went and did the five day promotion and I let it go. Um, and it's right now, as we speak, it's selling 15 to 20, you know, copies a month. At $2.99, at $2.99 a copy. So I get about $2.09 for every one of those that sells. Um, not a lot of money, but very, very scalable. I mean, this whole thing, I mean, if you put a solid eight hour day in, you could do one of these a day if you wanted to. I mean, you really could. You could do the ebook. You know, and, you know, this is when you get it down to science. When you're first starting out, this might be a two or three day process. You know, you do the ebook, then you create the back end, um, and then, you know, all the other stuff, it takes a little bit longer. You know, you're going to. And, and the thing about when I say a little bit longer, to gather that force around you. Now, here's the beauty of it. Uh, here's the beauty of it. We talked in the beginning of this video about gathering a force around you, right? Dude, that's like a one-time thing, okay? Once you gather that force around you, that force only grows. Because what happens is, now I did this book, you know, and it was about recipes, right? Now the next recipe guide, let's say, let's say next month, man, I want to release another, you know, 30 or 40 page recipe guide, and I want to do this one on, you know, energy smoothies or something, right? Well, dude, I've already got a concentrated force around me that cares about that crap. And not only that, now I have a buyer's list of people who actually bought my last ebook. So my force is only getting bigger and bigger and bigger, right? So here's what I'm telling you. The first time you do this method, it's going to be harder. And then like it gets like progressively easier and then the more launches you do like the easier it gets that's what I'm telling you okay the first time you do it it's gonna be harder because you have to build some leverage points you know you're gonna have to build up some kind of a little Facebook group you're gonna have to kind of become a member in like 15 or 20 of these Facebook groups to kind of start building leverage you're gonna have to start building a little YouTube channel up you know you're kind of building you're building this kind of like you know, melting pot, you're building that tornado, right? You're building these leverage points. And what these points are, are places where people know you and places where you can say, hey, I just released something to sell. Check it out, you know? It's absolutely free right now. I mean, the second time you do it, it's going to be twice as easy. It's going to be considerably easier because you have those leverage points in place. And everything's there. Now all you really got to do is you got to you got to concentrate. The second time around, you basically just got to concentrate on writing the Dagon ebook, you know, setting up the little back end secret area where you can leverage the traffic, you know, away from Amazon, and uh, you know, and, and you just work on that stuff. And that's like like I said before, that that you could do that in a day or two. Just do all that stuff up. You know, the the thing that takes the longest is creating that little force behind you, that leveraging force, you know. But, uh, what else? I think that's the whole story. I think that's the whole story. Uh, it's exciting because it's highly, highly scalable. It's a highly scalable thing, okay? And not only is it scalable, this isn't scalable like, hey, let me outsource my ebooks, okay? Every time I want to write an ebook, I'm going to, you know, interview a bunch of people and I'm going to have them write my ebooks. Dude, this is not like that. This method is going to center you as the authority, okay? You are going to be the authority. You know, that's, it's different from like outsourcing your work to other people where the writing style is going to change and this is going to have more heart than that. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, you know, it, this is a you know, method so far. It, it's right now, this first ebook I've tried doing like this, 15 to 20 books a month is what it's averaging. Now, my theory is that as my force grows in that niche, as my force, this force that I have built around kind of grows, what will happen is, um, you know, the sales per month will increase because what will happen is when I release the second ebook, um, it'll be like whatever, this on smoothies, blah, blah, blah. 
what I'll have to do for it is I'll probably uh, I'll probably record a video for each of the um, for each of the smoothies in the guide, and then what I'll probably do is I probably won't even release them on YouTube. You know, I already have a dedicated force on YouTube, and I'm already doing that stuff. So I'll keep these videos exclusive for the ebook, put them in a secret area, and what I'll do is um, when I release the ebook, those videos will be completely valuable because no one has ever even seen them before unless they bought the ebook. So then, when I uh, when I uh, tell people on my YouTube channel, hey man, I just released another ebook, man, it's absolutely free on Amazon right now for five days, they'll all flock over there to get it because they've never seen those videos before, man. They've never seen them before and they want to check them out and it's free, so why not? They already know me anyway. It'd be different if they didn't know me and I was trying to give them something for free. They wouldn't care. But because they know me um, and I'm going to give them something for free, then cool, they'll do it. I'll ask them for you know positive review if they like it and the process just repeats over and over and over right the thing is you're not using your tornado you're not using your leverage force for sales in this instance you know Amazon's got you covered on sales Amazon's got all the people to buy over there you need all you need to do is prove to those people that your product is worthy and the way you prove that your product is worthy it's by gathering this force of people behind you and getting that force to legitimize your product. That's what you do. That's what I did with the Nutribullet Time Recipe Guide. I gathered a force around me. I used them to legitimize my product. Right? That social proof spurns other people to check it out too. And then when they check it out, they see all the, the recipes, but then they see more than that. They see the back end with all the video supplementals and all the extra videos and all the extra stuff. I put extra ebooks in there and everything. So there's a ton of extra stuff. So what happens is the product actually is valuable, right? So I used my force, if you will, to, um, to legitimize my product on Amazon. And I let Amazon take care of getting me legitimate sales. Okay. Now with that ebook, I, I had something else going on. For all you guys who are doing affiliate command and you know about like putting all the pieces together, right? You know about like making the blog and making like the satellite presences, you know about the membership site, you know about the email list. We talked about that in affiliate command. For all you guys, um, now you'll recognize some of these tactics from affiliate command. Um, and that's cool, man. Awesome. Um, for all you guys, I want you to know, another thing I put in the secret area was a three-month free trial to my membership site. So that was kind of like the linchpin, right? Presented as a bonus, so they got three months for free. But that membership site, I'm only charging five bucks a month for. So, basically... You know, once you're part of my membership site for three months and then you figure out there's all kinds of cool content, who really cares about five bucks a month? So a lot of those people end up staying. So that's that's kind of like that went in there. So it's like leverage upon leverage and like the momentum builds upon itself. So anyways, January 13th, I'm going to launch a uh, I'm going to launch this product. I'm going to show you how to walk through this whole process that I just talked to you guys out now. Um, but I'm going to kind of be, it's going to be like an over the shoulder thing where I show you what I did. Um, I show you the secret members area that I'm talking about. And um, I just show you everything that I did and, and how I did it. So, and I'm only going to charge five bucks for it. And it's going to be a bunch of videos. So it's going to be really cool. I'd love to tell you what it's called because I think I'm really cool at coming up with names. And uh, I think it's got a really cool name. But I don't want to tell you because I don't want some, you know, wise guy to go out there and like, grab that domain name and then, you know, ruin my cornflakes or something, you know? <laughs> so I don't want to do that. Um, but uh, yeah, January 13th, I'm going to be putting it out. Anyways, I think that's about it. I, I know this video has been really rambly. I hope you guys have gotten something out of it. Um, the information I'm telling you, you know, it can really, you know, change your perspective. If you're out there and you're having no luck making money online, uh, tactics like this can really change can really change things for you I don't want to say they can change your life because I don't know you you know I don't know what your ambition level is I don't know if you have the uh, the the motivation to you know make an ebook and then figure out how to create a little secret area on a website and 
Um, I don't know if you know how to do all that stuff. I don't know if you have the motivation to make a Facebook page and, uh, you know, you know, go to, you know, Facebook groups and post in those groups. A lot of that stuff might not be things you guys know how to do. And it probably is going to be things that you have to learn how to do to make them happen. Okay, now I had to learn how to do all this stuff to make it happen. I didn't start out knowing how to, you know, make uh, websites and ebooks and, uh, you know, YouTube videos and all this other stuff. I didn't start out knowing how to do any of that crap, man. And um, to be honest with you, I'm still not an expert at most of it. I have to, like, you know, read little guides and, uh, you know, study up on it and stuff, you know. I never set out to be some kind of like ebook uh, ebook guru or something. I don't consider myself an ebook guru. I started out, you know, losing my job in 2010, and I started out selling and re and picking, you know, and, and selling uh, books on Amazon, you know. And I kind of moved to ebooks because it was easier. <laughs> it's easier to make money than you know going out every day finding crap to sell and then send in. Um, and then I kind of moved to websites and, and stuff off of Amazon because, quite frankly, uh, you know, ebooks aren't worth as much on Amazon as they are off of Amazon. I'll give you an example of what I mean. If you go to ClickBank and you want to buy a guide, you want to buy a special report, uh, an ebook basically, I mean, the idea of going to ClickBank or going to JVZoo or, or going to any of these other affiliate platforms um, and buying an ebook like that for five bucks is considered dirt cheap. I mean, you're not going to find a lot of like WSOs or one-time offers for less than five dollars, right? That's really cheap, and most people are okay paying five bucks to get that. Now, you take that same ebook or special report and you put it on Amazon, okay? Now most people see like five dollars as being kind of high for an ebook. They want to pay like ninety-nine cents or two ninety-nine. Same ebook, same value, but just in one place five dollars is cheap, and in another place five dollars is expensive. It's it's just a stupid perceived value thing. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, keep that in mind. Uh, I, I moved. From Amazon ebooks to like websites and selling off of Amazon because of that perceived value. You know, the digital products on Amazon, like the perceived value is, is lower. Like digital products off of Amazon, the perceived value is higher. So that's that's kind of why um, I moved over there. And I'm a real dude, you know what I'm saying? Like I I I believe in helping people. But I also believe in not wasting my time. We all only have a limited amount of time on this earth, and I want to make um, as, as much money as I can and be as successful as possible uh, in the time that I have here, while at the same time helping other people, because I don't want to do anything unethical, right? So that doesn't include like selling, you know, you know, ebooks for two ninety nine on Amazon when I should be selling them for like, you know. Ten dollars on JVZoo or something, right? Same product. So, anyways, whatever. I'm getting way off topic. Uh, the point is, this is a great method. It's going to help you sell lots of ebooks on Amazon, um, and it's also going to help you leverage that traffic away from Amazon, build that email list, uh, and have people to promote to for when you want to sell a product off of Amazon with a higher perceived value. Anyways. Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope you have a great, great holiday season. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Sorry I haven't put out a video for a while. I've been real busy with the holiday season and all this jazz. But I will catch up with you guys next one. If you get a chance, check out AdventuresOnTheRiver.com. Peace, guys. Oh, by the way, if you have comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you guys think of Amazon. Let me know what you think of ebooks. This has been a really long, drawn out, you know, uh, ranting, dribble, drabble, goobly gook session of me trying to, you know, teach you guys a method. Um, and I know it's conceptual. And I don't expect you guys to get it all. Um, January 13th, I will release the guide. I think it'll probably be on JVZoo, but it might be on the Warrior Forum. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it up at. Um, but uh, I'll let you know more as we get closer to January 13th. And I, uh, and I highly recommend you all check it out. I think you'll all get something out of it. It'll be well, well, well worth your $5. So anyways, 
I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.